Okay, today we're going to do optionals, right? Okay, so basically what an optional is, is like you can see right here, is you put a question mark in front of your type, and it signifies that it can be either whatever type it is, like this one's I-32, or it can be null, okay? And it shows you behind the scenes that typically the downside of having a null is blah, 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 blah. whatever. All right, you can see how they do this in C here. They're just creating a printer, I mean a pointer, and uh, if there's nothing in it, they just return null, okay? Perfect. All right, and <clears throat> we're also using this on on functions. I, I didn't get it to work this way, but I'll, you know, because we're going to go and take some examples. But basically what you need to understand about optionals is it can be whatever, whatever type, Okay, whatever type it is, such as I-32, or null, okay? And we'll check for that right there, right? And this led me to this tweet right here, right? Uh, this is on August tw <clears throat> August 28th, 2000, you know, 21, this year, right? Just deleted four key keywords from Zig, down to 48. And we're seeing here that it's true, false, undefined, and null. So how's this gonna work in the future? Okay, when I do, when they do, when all these changes roll out, I'm not gonna delete this video, but I'll make like an amendment video, where it'll be like a, a part two, so you can kind of see the progression. And if you know more changes, I'll just keep, you know, adding videos with like the same name with like part three or whatever. But all right, well let's get into some code, right? Okay, so let's do it like we're used to it, and we're gonna put the STD up there, standard library, at import all the boilerplate <clears throat> import okay std okay terminate it and we're gonna do a public function main all right and we'll put the void on the end didn't forget this time okay so we'll put a const and we'll call this uh let's just use one letter n and We'll declare this as an, let's do it like an example, right? And we'll do I-32, right? We'll make this null, right? Okay. So if n is equal to null, it seems like this is the way we're going to have to do it. I, I couldn't get it to work with the anonymous function way, so we'll do it this way here, right? So then we'll do SDD debug print okay we'll put uh, n is blank right there right then dot and then we'll put that n in there right okay and then if it is null then we'll just we'll just return from here Okay, and in the event that it is not null, we'll do std dot debug dot print line dot print, and we'll put another one in here. So we'll put put n in here again. And we'll say n has a value of whatever is in that variable. Bam. Okay. We'll do a slash n there too, so it goes on a new line. All right. Demo guides. Let's go. So we're gonna go zig optional video dot zig. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put run. A token on 12. Okay, then put let it terminate this one. Okay, so n is null because n is null. Okay, and so if we want to give it a value, let's say 32, oh, we'll put it, we'll put well, 45. Okay. Then n has a value of 45, so it prints out this statement. 
No, I want to try something now. Let's see what happens. Is this, does this, I'm going to try this. Does this throw an exception if I don't make it an optional? Okay, see it won't compile because this is ran to null. This is this is null, all right? But if we put that in front of there, then it will treat like an optional, okay? <clears throat> all right, so next what we'll do is we'll make a function. Okay, public fn. Uh, what will we call this? We'll call this double number. Okay, we'll put a in here. And then we'll make this an uh, an optional of i32, just like that, and we'll return to i32. Okay. <clears throat> so now, so if a is equal, we'll say not equal, not equal to null, then we will um, we'll return return a times uh, two so we'll double this number okay and else we'll return no I think I gotta make this an optional too but We'll do that later, okay? So we'll put const, we'll make this a, and it'll be equal to, <clears throat> equal to double number, and we'll use this n up here, which is null right now, so n, okay, then we'll std dot debug, dot print okay uh, the result of double number is and we'll put that there and we'll put all right and we'll make that a okay so what should uh, 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 we don't want to do that okay so what should happen here is it's gonna return okay this is gonna return null um, <clears throat> we're gonna put you know we're gonna have a which is an optional i32 right so but it's null so it's gonna come in here as null and it's gonna be equal to null so it's gonna return null so this should end up being null or not compile so let's see what happens Did I save it? it? Should print out something. Oh, it's because this returned. Okay, this returned the func. This returned the main function. Okay, so let's do it again. All right, and it's saying <clears throat> invalid operands to binary expression. Right. So what we have to do here is whenever you use optionals, you bring this out like that. Right, and that'll give you the value of the optional or null. And I think, let, let me see, I, I, I think I have to put that there too, but we're gonna check. Yep, okay, respect. Okay, so we'll put this here too, which returns an optional, right? So now this should compile. Okay, so the <clears throat> the result of double number is, is, um, is null, okay? So let's make this a number now. Okay, and it's 90, okay? So that's a way of, uh, you know, avoiding your pro program from blowing up. So just remember, whenever you want to return a value that's an optional, the syntax is this dot question mark here. Okay, so thank you for your time and attention.